Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Tech here. Uh, a lot of you were asking about my fan setup and my fan tuning, so I thought I would go over uh, some of the settings that I use depending on the situation. So let's go over to performance, and this is in the AMD Radeon software, and we're going to go to tuning. And in tuning, you'll see my current uh, fan settings. I have it set to this for when I'm just working on um, writing or editing or whatever that happens to be where I don't want the fan to be too loud. Now I keep it at, let's go to fine tuning controls, I keep the fan speed um, at about 45% um, until it gets to 55 degrees. At that point we assume that I'm doing something a little bit more heavy and it will jump up all the way to 75%. And at 75%, it stays there until if for some reason, which this has never happened, um, if my temperature gets to 75 to 80 degrees Celsius, it will just jump straight up to 100%. Uh, the reason I have such straight lines instead of a curve like I would use when I'm gaming is because if you have it set to a curve and you're jumping between two degrees, like... Um, 39 degrees to 40 degrees and it's jumping back and forth back and forth if you're on a curve you'll actually get an annoying um, fan speed change sound in the background you can kind of hear it um, buzzing up and then buzzing back down and buzzing up and buzzing back down because it's jumping between um, two different speeds and two temperatures so what I like to do is keep a flat um, line as much as possible so that while I'm working, I'll have a generally consistent fan speed. Now, this is very different from when I'm gaming. When I'm gaming, um, I'll usually actually set it starting at 50%, and I'll just make a nice curve up until the degrees that I'm comfortable with my GPU getting to. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to 75 degrees Celsius. Honestly, this gets about 60, and that's as high as it ever gets. But if it ever got to 75, I wanted a full blast because I believe this card is rated for like 110 or 100 or something. So I don't want it to get too hot. So find a comfortable temperature for your card where you don't want it to go above that and set your fan speed to 100% at that temperature. And then just set a nice little curve. It can be as um, sharp or as rounded as you want. But what this is going to do is it's generally going to keep the fan speed as low as possible and only raise it as needed. So if you're playing like a regular game, you might, you might stay at 50% at all times. If you're playing a VR game that needs to um, run both lenses at like 120 hertz or something or 90 hertz, um, your GPU might be working a lot harder and you'll want uh, the fan speed to raise up so when the temperature goes up the fan speed goes up and this is a pretty nice curve for that but again um, I take it into account when I'm writing and I have two separate fan settings just because uh, my computer is on my desk right next to me so it's very noticeable when the fan speed changes if your computer is more far, far away, you can probably get away with using this all the time. Just set it to a comfortable um, number where it's quiet, and then just have a slow rise up until your max. And that should keep everything pretty consistent and um, keep your temperatures pretty low, no matter what situation your computer is in. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions regarding my setup, please let me know. And I'm happy to answer in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.